it. All right, hi everybody, welcome. Okay, we're recording. Welcome to the Hey Girl Holiday Snapback. My name is Robin, your nutrition expert, and I'll tell you a little bit about me. And then Victoria is down there. And we're, we're gonna talk a little bit about nutrition and the holidays and what to do and just kind of helping us get ready for 2020. So thank you, Victoria, for allowing me to be here and share. I have a passion uh, about this topic for a couple of reasons. So let me tell you all a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Robin and this is my 11th year in the, the nutrition and wellness industry and I've seen a lot in 11 years. I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've noticed. But my story was is that I was overweight, pre-diabetic. I was a hot mess, if I can say that, some time ago. And I actually fainted. And that's what like really kind of inspired me to try to figure out what's going on with my food and nutrition and I was all out of whack and what I realized is that food would either kill you or keep you alive that the illnesses and diseases we face are due in part to what we put in our mouths or we don't put in our mouth and that really just started me on the journey to personally figuring out what to do and then I would end up going to school and starting to help other people figure out what to do and I recognize it's a journey and I like to say that food and nutrition are trying to quote unquote eat well is like being on a mechanical bull where the the food is always trying to get you and throw you off you're trying to hold on to your diet and your good eating and all of that and there's a holidays and everything so we're going to talk about what to do um and hopefully inspire you but first i want to do a quick nutrition lesson with you because i want to set some foundation for you and it'll be quick so um to be clear as to what nutrition is because sometimes people think just because they put something in their mouth and it tastes real good like that cheeto was nutrition and it's not necessarily so what nutrition is is our uh feeding our muscles and our brain and our skin and our hair so that our basically so our bodies can thrive and there's macronutrition and there's micronutrition and i want you to understand what that is in the diet world we talk a lot about macros and macros is your carbs and your fat and your protein what you don't hear a lot about is micronutrition which is actually i would say your health insurance it's your vitamins your minerals your phytochemicals so let's talk about the macros for a minute that's your carbohydrates right your main energy source that's what affects your blood sugar there's good carbs there's bad carbs i won't be able to go into all of that here but it's the carbs that um, affect our waistline the most and so just to tell you this when we're eating i always i always tell people when you get a when you get a bowl of cereal you really just get a bowl and you pour that cereal in and you have at it but really a serving is three-fourths of a cup and not a lot of us are measuring three-fourths of a cup and we end up getting more carbohydrates than our body can burn so carbohydrates we need for energy but too much of them then turn into sugar and store as fat so if we have more of us than we want then it's because we have more carbohydrates than our body can burn so just wanted to put that out there for you but the rule of thumb is uh one cup or one serving two to three times a day but that's hard to do but that's the rule of thumb and then fat fats are not a bad thing it's it's it helps us to stay fuller longer and it does really really good for our bodies so there's good fat nut butters avocados olive oil hummus those are a list of the good fats and then the protein everybody's talking about i gotta get my protein i gotta get my protein so the protein is the building block for, um, and I see typos in here. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna move right on that slide like I didn't see that typo. Uh, protein is a building block for your body. Uh, and, and I think the society has us thinking we need more protein than we do. And not to get too off on a tangent, but certain blood types do better with pro certain proteins. There's this whole thing about protein, but all things being equal, when you're balancing out your carbohydrates with your protein, that helps to balance your blood sugar. And so the different forms of protein, complete proteins would be your eggs, chicken, fish, turkey, tofu, tempeh, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, protein powders, not all are created equal, but I'll just put that out there. Protein powders is a form of protein. You have your lean red meats, lean ground, flank steak, top sirloin, top brown, pork tenderloin, if you do that, cottage cheese, quinoa, quinoa is a protein and a carb, buffalo, has anybody ever eaten buffalo? Not buffalo wings though, but like buffalo. 
a lamb. So these are your, your forms of protein. Everybody is different in what we eat. Some of us are vegan, vegetarian, flexitarian. We eat meat, we don't, all of that. So I just kind of put a list out there uh, for everyone. Now, what's important, <laughs> right, as we're balancing out our macros and our micros, and we'll talk about some micros in a second, is getting enough fiber. Getting enough fiber means that you're having regular bowel movements. And let's be clear with regular is, because sometimes people think regular is once every few days. That might be regular for them. But you should have bowel movements as many times as you eat. So if you eat three times a day, you want to have bowel movements three times a day. Why? Because when you're eating and your body is taking the nutrients from the food, the rest of it is waste and it has to go somewhere. So if you don't eliminate the waste, it's in your body like um, the fish tank where the fish are pooping in the fish tank and then swimming around in it. That's what your cells are doing to the waste. So if you don't eliminate, it's staying in your body and creating a toxic environment. So having regular bowel movements means a couple of things that your digestive system is, is you know that it's functioning in that regard and that you are getting enough fiber. Not to keep talking about bowel movements, but you want them to be full. Full beans, they're not coming out like pebbles. It's full, like how your colon is, it's coming out full, it's not hurting, it is not, it's um, easy to come out. That's how you know your body is functioning. So are you pooping with ease? If not, I'm gonna say to you, that's where you would need more fruits and vegetables and prunes are amazing. Oatmeal is good in fiber as well. So more beans, more lentils, more roughage to get that, that system going. Very, very important. Why? It's, it's really important because 80% of your immune system is in your digestive system. So we want to make sure that you're doing that. What you can do for that is eat more plant foods, right? Plant food is where you get your micronutrients. So your macros, again, your carbs, your fats, your proteins, your micronutrition is, has the major impact on your health. Failing to get these virtually guarantees disease. That is scary, but I'm gonna show you kind of what our society is going through right now and how you can see that we don't get enough of the micronutrients in our body and that is creating a problem. So we need, and don't fall off your chair when I say this, I almost fell off my chair when I first heard this. We need nine to 13 servings of raw fruits and vegetables every day, which sounds ridiculous because I don't know if you get nine to 13 servings of raw fruits and vegetables, but I know even as a nutritionist, that was like absurd to even hear. It used to be five a day. And why did it used to be five a day and now it's all the way up to nine to 13? So food has changed in such a dramatic way that the way that it is grown and delivered to us, the nutrients are not in the produce. And so because of that, the amount that we need just to stay in that healthy space is going up. So you used to could have a serving of broccoli and that was nutritious. Now you need three or four servings of that broccoli to get all of the nutrients in. And again, that's daunting and crazy in a sense. I'm gonna tell you what I do to get mine in. But, um, but that's where we are today. So in terms, in terms of our society, there are two startling trends that I want you all to be aware of. And when we talk about our holiday snapback, which we will, but I just wanted to give you all this information first. We're gonna talk about how to combat the things that are trying to throw us off of our mechanical bull, if you will. So the two startling trends, and there's probably more than two, but the two that I'm gonna speak of is, one is the environment. The environmental toxins, you can't avoid them. You gotta breathe and you're going to die ingest toxins. That's one of the problems. There's just more bad air and toxins. The other problem, as I mentioned, is our food supply doesn't have a lot of food in it. 
void of the micronutrients because a lot of chemicals, processed foods, and then the produce is picked before it's ripened. It's, it's made to be stored and sit on the shelf. It's just, it's a bad deal for us. And so as a result of those two things, you are seeing more health, and I'm telling you, more health challenges. When I started this 11 years ago, I did not see what I see today, I'm gonna to tell you. So we had heart disease and stroke, more cancers. This is, is alarming because all of us are at risk. It's, it's with the cancers, it's whether or not our cells, because um, all of our cells are, are at risk and being bombarded, it's whether our cells can fight off and, um, and do what it needs to do to keep us healthy, right? So you see cancer popping up in younger people. Breast cancer right now is a crazy, crazy epidemic for women and men. Now ask yourself again, why is that? It's a direct correlation between the environment and the food. There are more respiratory challenges, asthma, COPD, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease. That used to not be a thing. A kidney disease, autism, 10% growing a year. That used to not be a thing. When children are born now because of what, when us as women, what is in our, um, what we have in our body is then transferred into our children and it's making it a challenge for this generation. More autoimmune. Um, I did not see the level of autoimmune now that I, when I started, I didn't see it. Now I do. Lupus, MS fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, celiac, thyroid abnormalities, Crohn's, eczema, it wasn't like it is today, anxiety, we talked about constipation, food allergies. Everybody could eat peanuts back in the day. Now it's like, I don't even think when you get on the airplane, they'll give you peanuts. Infertility is a challenge. Back in the day, if you just did the thing, then you would have a baby. Now it's not so much. And now they say, you know, if you are pregnant, wait a while before you tell, every, you know, for, before you tell people. Things are crazy and, and scary um, when, it, when it comes to, to where we are today. Um, I just want to see if I have any questions or any questions before I move on to some of the things that I recommend. I feel like I went by fast, but I want to keep our class to 30 minutes. Any, any questions or comments uh, before I move into um, my recommendation from Snapback? <laughs> All right. So I, I let you know that um, we're in a space. And our relationship with food is very complicated. Again, we use food for comfort, celebration. Um, we use it for a lot more than just to fuel our body. So I, I get that part. It's not easy to shift. What I recommend um, to, to my clients and to, to people that I connect with is a protocol that I'm going to share with you, which will help you lead to the snapback, right? So um, we know that Thanksgiving is coming and the whole flood of holidays is coming and we're going to enjoy ourselves. And usually after that, we're like, oh my goodness, I ate too much. Now what? So I would encourage you to get a get get ahead of all of that with a with a few suggestions. So let me tell you about that. Um, there is a program that I swear by called Shred Ten, and Shred Ten is powerful for a couple of reasons. So let me tell you a little bit about or a lot of bit about it. So Shred Ten is designed for you to shred the habits that are in the foods that are not serving you and literally flood your body with whole food nutrition. And when people hear the word 10, they automatically think 10 pounds. And that could be so, but really the, the 10 is about the 10 day jump start. So for 10 days, we go through a protocol and we do this every month for 10 days, which is why it makes this uh, uh, shred 10 so powerful. The second Monday of every month, we do this for 10 days. So think about right after Thanksgiving, right? You've had a good old time, and then you start Shred 10. You do Shred 10 uh, for 10 days, and then you um, Christmas is coming in or whatever holiday you celebrate, or maybe none at all. But right after that, 
you do shred 10 again. It helps to keep your body in balance. And again, as women, and some of you may not be women, but I know women for sure, we're always worried about the scale, which is great. What I would say to you is that your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So when we are flooding our body with high quality nutrition, then the pounds come off as a side effect. When we focus just on the pounds, then we sometimes do things not necessarily in a helpful way. So I challenge you to focus on flooding your cells because again, we want you to get the pounds off if that's your desire, but we also want you to shield your body as much as you can from the things that we, that from the environmental toxins and the food. We want you to give your cells an uptick. So here's how Shred 10 works. And again, as far as the, the unwanted pounds, in 10 days, shredders release four to 15 pounds, but that's not what I want the focus to be. I want you to focus on just flooding your body with nutrition. So here's how Shred works. For 10 days, we remove the following items. Don't get scared, because some of them sound a little scary. Well, we take out gluten, and why do we do that? We do that because Gluten today, because of the way that it's processed, which is bread and pastas and cookies and pies, sometimes agitate our digestive system, but we don't know it because we eat it all the time. So we're just gonna pull back on gluten for 10 days. The good news is, because when I say that, then people are like, well, what do I eat? Corn tortillas, you can have tacos, you can have sweet potatoes, you can have rice, you can have quinoa. So we'll certainly let you know what the options are because we'll say what not to eat, but we're also gonna say what to eat. So you're not struggling to figure out what to do. We're gonna ask you to pull back on dairy for 10 days. That's your milk, your butter, your cheese, uh, ice cream, yogurt, did I say that? Just for 10 days. Uh, for me, when I was eating dairy, it created a, a extra bit of bacteria in my gut and that made my body yeasty, full of yeast, and I didn't even know, and when I stopped the dairy, the yeast was gone. And I had yeast infections for so long that I thought that was just regular. Um, so that may or may not be your story, but we pull back on the dairy so that you can see what your body is telling you. Your body will speak to you in such an amazing way when we take out some of the things that maybe doesn't serve and flood in things that do. So the next thing is caffeine. Now, if you drink, eight cups of coffee a day, the thought of not having caffeine will just be terrible. So what we say is just reduce it. So if you do eight cups, and maybe you do four decaf, four regular, uh, but we're gonna reduce the caffeine. Alcohol, self-explanatory. I know that at night, some of us wanna relax with a nice glass of wine, but just for 10 days, you can do anything for 10 days. Cause remember, we're trying to snap back after, after the holiday. Processed foods, sugar, Hold your horses. What sugar? What? So sugar, yeah, we don't really need that, but <laughs> we are going to offer you or suggest to you a way to, to manage that sweet tooth if, if you have that. So we, a part of Shred 10 is we're taking out processed sugars, but you'll be able to have sugar that is uh, not refined. So that, so sugar that comes from fruit. So don't worry, you'll be, you'll be okay. And then we ask you to stop eating after 6.30 or 7. That gives your digestive system time to chill and rejuvenate and all that good stuff. Um, and people ask me, can you do an intermittent fast with the shred? Absolutely. Um, if you decide to do the shred, uh, you will have access to our team of, of, of health experts. And we'll actually give you a menu to do an intermittent fast during the shred if you want. So as you taking out those items, let me tell you what you're gonna add in. You're gonna add in exercise three to four days and uh, Victoria is gonna hopefully help us with that. Um, enough water so that your urine is clear. That actually leaves a question out of how much water should I drink enough so your urine is clear. You're gonna sleep seven to eight hours a day. You're gonna add in one to two complete meal shakes. What is that? That is a meal replacement that I recommend that has your macros and all the good stuff that you need. It keeps you full and it's, it's tasty. So you're gonna add in one to two of those shakes and then we're gonna ask you, optional but a really good idea, to add in, um, I take fruits and vegetables in a capsule. I like to call them my plant powders 
they literally are the plants and the vegetables, pits, peels, and seeds put in a capsule or a chewable. And I flood my body with them every day, which is how I bridge the gap between what I am eating and what I should eat. And I know this, when shredders have the plant powders, their results are more pronounced. Because again, you're flooding your body with the macronutrition. However, you can shred with us uh, with just the, the meal replacement if you like. And there's more that we provide for you. Because um, people want to say, well, what is, you know, what is the investment? And it's super low. You can start shred for as low as $36. And what you get from that is you're going to get your meal replacement shake. You can choose chocolate or vanilla. Um, that comes with it. Also, you're going to get a full nutrition plan. So my unnecessary nutrition created nutrition plans. You're going to get a full four-week nutrition plan as well as a nutrition plan for the 10-day shred. That nutrition plan will help you beyond the shred to keep your nutrition balanced. So you're going to get your 10-day shred menu. You're going to get a four-week roadmap digital recipe book. We have an accountability group and that is where we're supporting. And there's, there's like a hundred and something of us doing the shred at any given time. And we're posting recipes. Sometimes we're crying and saying, I miss my coffee. And we're just keeping each other strong. And um, your shred leader, if you decide to do this, would be a hey girl and Victoria. Hey girl, hey. And Victoria, and she will help to keep you on track. And we do this together as a group. And there's also a success guide. So in doing the shred, we have a community and we have smaller communities. So my shred group is called Necessary Nutrition. Uh, Victoria's will be Hey Girl, Hey, or Hey Girl. And so we have different leaders leading their shred group, but we all come together and connect. The shred is wonderful, but don't take it from me. So I want, it, I want you to hear from another shredder um, that's here somewhere. Dr. Brunetta, are you? Are you somewhere? I am. Looking all fabulous. Look at you. <laughs> Every time I see you. Um, Bless me. <laughs> yes. So Dr. Bernetta, tell us how long you've been doing the shred, all just your whole thing. Give us the rundown. Oh my goodness. So I think I did my first shred um, this year. Actually, was I believe it was in April. Okay. And so I've been shredding every month since. And um, my goal really was to, and not so much weight loss, but to really flood my body with nutrition because my doctor um, and I reviewed my blood work and he let me know that my blood was lacking. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I began to use the plant powders in the form of the capsules. Um, but I knew that I couldn't just stop there. I needed a great protein and good macro nutrition. And uh, when I heard of the shred, of course, I was like, I'm a great eater, I think. But um, I have some habits. And uh, as a friend of mine said, French fries with ketchup does not equal a vegetable. So, <laughs> um, but I tried to shred. And honestly, the first time I shred, I actually did lose weight. I wasn't expecting to because um, that was my goal. But the biggest thing was I felt so good. And so the first couple of days are a bit of a challenge. But by Saturday, day six, which is my favorite day of the shred every time I do it, um, there's just this um, awakening that I feel in this energy. And so I love the shred. I do it every month with my wellness community. And I welcome it. I mean, I recommend it for lots of people. Yeah, thank you. And we've seen some amazing stories because I, I say to you all that, that are listening, what do you think would happen if you flooded your body? First of all, what do you think would happen if you push back on some of the, the foods that don't serve you and then you flood your body with high quality nutrition that does? What do you think would happen? You want to talk about snapping back? That's the, that's the <laughs> snap back, right? That is how we snap it back and keep snapping it back because what happens is after the shred, maybe now you want some cheese or you want a, you know, a sandwich or whatever it is, um, you know, and then you're, you loosen up the guidelines. And just when you're too loose with the guidelines, we're starting all over again. And to be clear, we don't remove uh, meat per se. Now, some people do because they're vegan. You have options depending on your dietary lifestyle. The menu will give you options within the 
guidelines so that you can reach your goal. And I think we're, we, we're a, um, I would say a, a electrifying community. I would say that the vibe is just love and happiness. And so right. sometimes I'm like, I want my chocolate. The love <laughs> you got you. And I struggle, I struggle with drinking water and I always have, yeah, where's your water, Robin? I know, everybody's <laughs> telling me I have a, an app on my phone because me participating in Azure Shred, even though I'm a nutritionist, I still have the struggles. So um, it's, it's so worth it to do. Thank you so much, um, Bernetta, for sharing. It's so worth it to do and you get so much more than you invest. And, and what I love about the Shred is it's a low entry and you and you get a lot so and um, the and the guidelines i just wanted to say that the truth is you're looking for something to do most people they feel like they eat well but more they know they don't eat well and so um it's one of those things where now you have something to do to address your own issues we all know thanksgiving is coming we're all going to eat a bunch of stuff we know we shouldn't um christmas is then right around the corner new year's um what is the football season, the Super Bowl? Sure. So there's nice. always these amazing reasons to eat, right? Because that's what our culture does. Yeah. But in between those things, you get to do the shred. You get to come back, yeah. you get to snap it back into control. Yeah. And the thing is, you feel so good that when you do get off the shred and you start eating things, your body will say, hey, <laughs> yeah. and you'll be ready to get back on the shred and follow those guidelines and work with your community yep. again. Yep. That, there, you, there you go. So with all that being said, I think, let me see if I have a, okay. So we start the shred December 9th and we do it for 10 days. So December 9th through the 18th. So after you're done with Thanksgiving and you still eating, eating your leftovers and all that good stuff, then we start the shred. So, um, your deadline to confirm is uh, the 30th of November, which is great because you have time to get everything you need. We guide you through and, um, and then we have time to prepare. And so prior to the shred, we do a online meeting like this with all of the new shredders, look at the meal plan, answer questions. After the shred, we do another online meeting where we connect and just review how everybody's doing. So we really, we really keep keep connected um during during that time so i recommend it that that's the snapback y'all that's how to get the get the, the thanksgiving off of off of you um if you, do you have any questions and um and hey girl victoria do you have anything to say or or anything that you want to add in uh i just want to thank everyone who's viewing uh, either now or in the replay and I'm excited because December will be my first shred. So I'm excited to embark on this journey and start shredding and, and uh, make it, making things happen. Yeah. So thank you, Robin. Thank you You're for welcome. your time. And, and if y'all have questions about the shred and how to get everything, um, Victoria will lead you to how to get that done. And we welcome you to be a part of this. Uh, like I said, the sh our shred community is it's good. We, we have a good time. So thank you so much for allowing me to, to share with you all. And I hope to see some of y'all. I don't see you now because you're hidden behind the screen. But <laughs> I hope to see some of y'all um, during, during the shred in uh, yeah. December. All right. So there you go. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, y'all. Let me stop the recording. Sometimes, aha, uh here we go.